FutureCast. Well, a cool front approaching the area right now, setting off some showers and even some thunderstorms, mostly in our southern suburbs. We check out live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Unfortunately, these storms, these thunderstorms, have weakened quite a bit. Now, I have the lightning tracker turned on, and these flashing icons indicate cloud to ground lightning strikes, and they have really diminished. They've been mostly confined to the southern half of the state and just offshore. The white icons represent lightning strikes within the last five minutes. Now, here in East Providence in our studios, I stepped outside and you can see some of these flashes of lightning. In fact, uh, even though the lightning is at a very far off distance from our studio by about 35 miles, you can still see the flashes off in the horizon, even though the actual lightning strike itself is still uh, far offshore. And they continue to weaken. We'll keep the chance for some passing showers over the next couple of hours. High temps today, well into the 80s. 83 in Providence, mid to upper 70s along the south shore. Autumn, the calendar version of autumn, officially arrived about to five minutes ago. So it's here, though summer like weather will stick around for the next uh, several days passing shower or the rumble of thunder next couple of hours above normal temperatures at least through Saturday, some spots 80 degrees or higher. We'll take a look at those high temperatures in just a second. Downtown Providence, cloudy, very mild. I mean, it's still in the 70s on a southwest breeze at 5. Humidity on the high side at 82%. Upper 60s to around 70 south shore. Smithfield's at 70. Taunton now coming in at 69 degrees. Satellite and radar composite shows that line of showers and thunderstorms weakening and moving offshore. You can see the clearing off to our north and west. That'll work in by tomorrow just in time for some sunshine. There may be some early morning clouds tomorrow morning at sunrise, but revealing sunshine as we get deeper into the morning, 11 a.m. 71. Now, still a warm day tomorrow, not as warm as today, but we should be in the mid-70s with some sunshine, so looking pretty good along the south shore from Ashaway and westerly Charleston and Newport around 72, 73. Northern suburbs with sunny skies around 75 to 76 with sunny skies and a light east-northeasterly breeze, keeping temperature across the Massachusetts coastline in the lower 70s. But overall, it looks good. North breeze turning east-northeast in the afternoon. Visibility may be reduced briefly at dawn and fog, but it does improve rapidly. In fact, some sunshine at the beaches. Air temperature 68 to 72. Water temp in the mid-60s. Look at Friday. The warmest air is yet to arrive. That comes Friday afternoon at 85. Even Saturday, we're at 80 with some sunshine. Noticeably cooler on Sunday. Clouds on the increase at 67. Unsettled for early Early next week, we're thinking late Monday to Tuesday, the chance for showers in temps in the upper 60s to low 70s. But warm weather next several days. Mission's in tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. with your updated future cast. Showers next couple of hours should be pulling away. Okay. Thanks, Tony. Coming up next, then.